everybody, it's your boy Robbie P2. It's Robbie P2 Family, please. Let's uh, check in down below with a hashtag here. Welcome to another ha awesome uh, hashtag Taco Tuesday, or should we just call it hashtag Taco Bell T Tuesday? Because Taco Bell's brought back a couple favorites here, and I guess we're gonna go ahead and review them on camera as best I can. So, first and foremost, this is why we, I guess we're calling it. Taco Bell's Cantina Crispy Chicken Tacos and double, like, double, like, a, like a double beef and cheese uh, burrito or something like that. Or cheesy double beef, that's what they're calling it. Cheesy double beef burritos. So, first and foremost, we have the Cantina Crispy Chicken Tacos. They have two of them available. Each of them have, like, a crispy chicken finger... As you can see there, plus uh, lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, and you have a choice of either the creamy chipotle or the avocado ranch sauce inside a warm flour tortilla. So let's take a taste of these here. Definitely like that, uh, that chicken. I think it's uh, breaded in like Mexican spices and buttermilk, and like spicy buttermilk. And the sauce. I think this one is the avocado ranch. So let's give this one, finish this one here. Not bad at all, especially for the $2 price tag. So I want to give it a 9 out of 10. One, a couple things I could make this better is that maybe if they had a option for grilled chicken, if they also made it bigger, and then maybe uh, added, uh, added some bacon bits and put it in a uh, gordita or chalupa shell and brought back the bacon club chalupa. But that's it. And, of course, these were first seen last year for 2021. Especially after their epic failure, Chicken Sandwich Taco. You know, the one that came with a chicken nugget that I jokingly referred to as should be on the kids' menu. Mm. And now we'll try the other Candina crispy chicken taco, which should be the chipotle sauce. So. Cause don't know, don't really know which, cause uh, on Taco Bell didn't label them on the wrapper. That is. Something this one, it's gotta be that creamy chipotle. There's a little bit of heat in the sauce. Mm. Mm. Well, not by much, but. I'm giving both the Chipotle crispy chicken tacos a 9 out of 10. Mm. 
and Bob Mountain Dew Bomb Blast to drink. And then now we got the cheesy double beef burritos. These in general should just have a double portion of seasoned beef plus rice, nacho cheese sauce, and the uh, three cheese blend plus the Fiesta strips. And they normally would come with sour cream, which I ordered without. So there's a little inside there. Now, I can't really tell that's it because I know there's also supposed to be a spicy one which has the jalapenos so this one's not spicy and this one should have the those fiesta strips as well here which knowing me and Taco Bell and the fiesta strips I don't even know why they bother putting them in there's no flavor to those things so Besides, they'd go all mush by now. You know, by the time you get them. Hmm. But they obviously have a good helping of beef on this one. I think mine Taco Bell was out of the strips anyway, but it don't really matter. This one's the regular, about two dollars each as well, for a limited time. And I want to give this about eight and a half out of ten. That's a lot of beef for two dollars. Not bad at all. Side. And we'll see if this one's a spicy double, um, cheesy double beef. And I think it is. Got some jalapenos on this one. Same price, two dollars. So let's take a taste here. Mm -hmm. Pretty good, and pretty good. Definitely got some spice in this one. Mm. Mm. 
So the regular cheesy double beef burrito gets eight and a half. The spicy one gets a nine. How can both be better? I think if Taco Bell got rid of those Fiesta strips and the red strips and replaced them with Flamin' Hot Fritos chips, then not only would they be crunchy, they'd be spicy, and they'd be bringing sun back we've been begging for for a long time. So Taco Bell, what we really want, we want that beefy crunch back. All right? Don't know what the problem is now. Flamin' Hot Fritos are available. People... There's a movement on Facebook called Beef Be Crunch Movement. They're willing to pay more for it. You know, just, uh, we'd be willing to flock to Taco Bell almost every day if we have to. Just get them sales up and all that. So come on, Taco Bell. Bring it back already and make it permanent. <laughs> And, uh, I mean, you've been br bringing back all this other stuff as well. So maybe the Beefy Crunch should come back and made permanently. Along with the Mexican pizza and the nacho fries. Mexican pizza because, hey, it's a Taco Bell classic. I've had for a long time. And why bring back the nacho fries and make them permanent? Because I'll bring them back like every two, three months. And all that stuff. Bring them back so often that they, they should just, like, why can't they just be permanent in this case? Come on, Taco Bell. But man, this is good. It's so good. Heck, I forgot to leave a look in the back to see if they brought Diablo sauce. Which, for the record, heck, this is so good. We don't even need Diablo sauce. It's already got the heat. Mm. See, there we go. See? It'll definitely taste great, you know, for two dollars. Hope they stay around for a long time. it here. <laughs> so thank y'all making it making it this far in. You know, it's been a pretty good uh, review and mukbang here in Taco Tuesday for Taco Bell. Bringing back some favorites again for limited time. What I gotta say about the about all these items here: the crispy cantina chicken tacos, the uh, cheesy double beef burritos. These guys definitely go out and get them while you can. All right. So everything. Let's see. The cantina crispy chicken tacos, both of them, get nine out of ten. 
The regular cheesy double beef burrito gets 8.5 out of 10. Spicy one also gets 9 out of 10. So it definitely brings the heat. That's it here, man. So if you like what you see, awesome, please. Well, let's see here. Thank you all for coming here. So if you're brand new to my channel, please hit the big red subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and choose all notifications, and make sure to watch at least one other video of mine. More than two minutes of content would be greatly appreciated. And then please feel free to join all the other support, all of the wall supporters in smashing the thumbs up to fight the YouTube algorithms and leave some positive comments. And don't forget, you know, share this out with your friends, your family, your community tab, all of your social media. Help the channel grow to reach 10,000 subscribers very soon and maybe 100 million by the end of the year. would greatly appreciate that. As well, and hope, uh, and uh, we'll see you back here at the end of this uh, week. All right, so thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay safe, stay positive. Your boy, Robbie P2, out.